Technology. The truth. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Chronic Gamer. My name is Matt and this is my final thoughts and redirect for episodes 24, 25, and 26 of Demon Slayer. So go ahead, click the link in the description, check that out, come back here, let me know what you think in the comment section. If you're watching this on YouTube and you want to check out next week's reaction or the week after's reaction to the following series after Demon Slayer, because I will be reacting to a new series as this was a season finale and there aren't any more seasons, uh, check out my Patreon. I will not reveal what the series is yet here. It will be a surprise, although the people on Patreon already have it and know about it. Um, so it may have made its way over to YouTube by now. But uh, either way, um, if you're interested, check it out. Um, okay, so we got some lighthearted episodes at the beginning. We got some decent training in these episodes, so uh, that's cool. Let me do this. But, uh, yeah, um, I really want to talk about a scene that we saw at the beginning of episode 26, but I'm going to wait until the end of this video here. So, um, they were hurt from everything that they went through up on the mountain, and they needed rehab. So, they uh, decided to... Uh, put them through rehab. The people there, uh, Lady Cocho, I think her name is, decided to put them through the rehab there. And they all started training to get hard, uh, harder, to get uh, stronger. And um, a lot of them gave up. Uh, Zenitsu gave up. Inosuke gave up. But uh, Tanjiro kept, kept going at it. And uh, he found out that there are... Uh, more advanced breathing techniques such as the uh, I don't know exactly what they called it but it's the total concentration breathing where they do it 24 hours a day seven days a week instead of just when they're in the midst of battle and uh, they said if you could master that your stamina will increase tenfold so uh, Inosuke uh, I'm sorry not Inosuke Tanjiro decided that uh, he would be learning this right away, and he started practicing at it, and it was tough for him, actually. I'm surprised how tough it was, because I don't know how long he was able to use the total concentration before he started this training, but it didn't seem like a long time. Um, the way they portrayed it in the anime, it definitely seemed like it was only a, uh, a few minutes. So, um, he trained really hard, and even by the end of these episodes, he was able to master it. Um, he had convinced Inosuke and Zenitsu that they should also be working hard to master it. And uh, with the help of some awesome reverse psychology from Lady Kocho, they reluctantly came back and uh, mastered it as well. So all three of our main characters are now uh, significantly stronger than they were. I don't know how strong they are in terms to the other characters. They're really alluding that... Uh, we have not seen anything yet as far as terms of strength in this series. Um, the big giveaway was this scene in episode 26 at the beginning where we saw Muzan Kibutsuji just completely annihilating his lower six uh, Kizuki that he has. So he called them all to this labyrinth to tell them that the fifth member, the lower fifth member, has been slayed by a demon slayer. And uh, he's like, I can't have this. He's like, you guys need to be working harder. Just being in the lower six doesn't make you somebody special. He said, basically, I turn you guys over quickly. And for the past century or so, the upper six have remained the same, while the lower six have changed so often because you are content with being in, in the 12 that you don't try harder. And... Uh, they all, most of them started begging or trying to run away or, or cowering, um, but uh, he saw through all of it and very brutally destroyed them. And uh, that was probably the most intense scene of the whole series. It really stepped it up for Kibutsuji. Like, we knew that he was a big threat before now. We knew he was creating the demons, 
Um, we know that he's been around for maybe a few centuries, and uh, he's got some sort of plan, but this was like next level dark. Like We really got to see his character and, and how ruthless he can be, even when dealing with his own people, and uh, it was definitely something to watch. But he slayed four out of the five remaining lower six that were there, and the last one happened to say the right thing, so he granted him power. Uh, by giving his blood over to him and uh, now he's probably going to be the beginning villain of the next season because we saw them all leaving on a train to go find these demons and the dude was just standing on top of the train so we definitely have some things to look forward to the fire breathing is uh, something that they made a point to bring up um, so Tandro's got to learn more about that from the flame uh hashira that they currently have they said that it's not called fire breathing or flame breathing so we'll have to find out what it really is and what it means but um it definitely means something or they wouldn't have brought it up and uh yeah i'm just really excited to see where they go and uh nezuko's back with them and he vowed to never be apart from her and uh i'm sure that the season two will be <laughs> A lot crazier and a lot darker than what we got here in season one. And I hope we don't have to wait very long for it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Chronic Gamer. Peace.